today is Saturday, May 23rd, and I am going to do a mini series on um, becoming a gardener. Uh, you say you have a black thumb, you say that you don't have a green thumb. Believe me, I did not either. I don't believe in black thumb, green thumb. I don't believe in that. What I believe in is knowing that plants are living just like we are. And we need food, we need water, period. If we don't get those things, the plants are gonna die. <laughs> so basically, that's what I believe in. It's not anything about me doing anything special. Feed, water, happy plant. When we start neglecting those things, we can call ourselves whatever we want to, but we really are a plant killer if we don't do those things. If we don't feed our children, if we don't give our children water, we are killing our kids. <laughs> let's face it, that's the facts. So let's just drop the whole green thumb, black thumb thing. And let's get a little bit of um, understanding of what we need to do. I already told you the basics. When I go through this, I'm not going to get technical. If you want to get more technical or more information on something, go to that famous Google and get your information. There is so much information out there, but sometimes you can have so much information that you don't do anything with it. Now, what we're going to talk about is gardens. A garden is can be as small as a patio, it can be as large as a five acre, you know, plot of land. You can have one plant, you can have a thousand plants, but you should look at your garden as you look at a uh, living room. Now, a living room you can't just go in a living room and throw a bunch of pillows all over the place. You can, but I look at pillows as it brings color to a room. You can change your pillows up. You can keep your pillows the same. You can have all types of um, sizes of pillows. But pillows are not your foundation, okay? Think of your garden space as Ikea. Have you ever been in Ikea? It is a nice area. Um, you go in, they have things set up. They have the rooms all beautiful and it's like, oh, this is so nice. That's how you have to look at your garden as Ikea. Your Ikea started with one item in that room first. Then they added to it and added to it until you have this beautiful showcase room. Same with your garden. Look at your garden as a room. So when you look at your garden as a room, you can start your garden off with one thing. When you start your room off, you want a big foundation piece. If you're talking a living room, you want a couch, right? You don't want your guests coming in and sitting on the floor. You want a couch. You may want an entertainment center to house your TV. You may want bookshelves to house your books. So look at your garden the same way and you look at your garden that way with annuals and perennials. Those are gonna be the most technical words I say today, and that's not even technical, but that may be technical for some. 
So an annual, look at annuals as the pillows, okay? It's colorful, it's something you um, put on your, on your uh, couch. You can change it up from season to season. You can get creative with your annuals. Annuals are something that is not the foundation. It's just the pretty, okay? It's just the pretty. But annuals are just for a season. Your couch, entertainment center, your bookcases, those are perennials. Those are your foundation plants, okay? So you have to look at your garden like that. Your garden starts off nothing. Just say you have nothing but a tree. Well, guess what? That tree is a perennial. It's not going nowhere. It's going to be there until maybe you kill it or it gets cut down or, you know, it just gets older. Trees get old just like we get old and they die. But it takes a while for that to happen. So if you just have a tree in your garden, that's your perennial. That's your start. That is your start, your base. So you got something. If you don't even have a tree, you just got grass, weeds, whatever. That's your base. Okay? Now you have a room. You have a room. It may be a messy, messed up room, but you can change that room and make it beautiful just like ikea did so ikea comes in this bare bone room they put a couch in they put bookshelves they put an entertainment center and that's the base it's not all this flashy color and all that because it's not supposed to be it's just the base it may be you know, a brown sofa. It may be a gray sofa. It may be a beige sofa. But when you start adding your annuals to that perennial, then you get color and it starts looking like, wow, that looks great. But if you didn't have a foundational plant like a tree or um, a shrub, something that's going to never go away until it just gets old and dies then if you just have had a bunch of annuals it's gonna look pretty bad it's just like a room in ikea if they just threw a bunch of pillows all over the floor all these colorful pi pillows all over the floor yeah it's pretty color but it's missing something when you go to ikea it's just a beautiful setup and that's what you want to start with. And like I say, not technical, just basic, basic, basic. So this is the first step. Looking at a space that you have in your garden and looking at, looking at it as a room. It's a room, that's what it is. So now you have a idea this is not just a piece of crappy looking yard you know it is your space that you can make into something beautiful and it doesn't have to be a like i say in the beginning it doesn't have to be a big space it could be on a patio you got a a little small patio you can make that patio turn that patio into something nice. So I'm going to give you an example, a quick example of a little room that I created. And I'll show you a before and after picture. I'll show you a picture of before how it looked. Okay, this is one of my garden rooms. The foundation of this room is just a bunch of gravel, which I want to add more gravel because I like it to look very, very white, like a carpet. I mean, think of it. This is my room. I want carpet on the floor, okay? So 
that is my foundation over in this room. I'm not gonna have a tree in this area because it's a small little patio area. But I do have a table. These are little anchoring things that you can add to your space to make it look like a room. Um, I have a plant stand here. And this plant stand houses my uh, strawberries. I have another little plant stand here that houses my basil. And this little area is close to my kitchen, so I want it to have this as a kitchen garden, okay? Um, I have some herbs in there. So this is for a client, so let me move that out the way. So basically, this is the area. Um, this is the room. This is a pedestal with a plant on it. It's kind of like um, a, a shelf, a little shelf, if you would think of a room with something on it. I have a shelf there with three, um, with three pots. Of course, I can put things in it, but I don't have that right now. But I have some little decor decorative stones here just to um, make the room look a bit more like a living space. I also have a little, some little garden ornaments and a little tree. I have a little sunshine and another little something something over there. But all of this to say, this is a room. This is a space. This is a garden space. This is just one area of my garden. And um, it didn't look like this as you saw the uh, before picture it was just a space full of scattered stuff but I had to in my mind think of what I wanted to do with this space and now a little garden room always look at your garden as separate little rooms and so yeah that's one of them I'll give you one more all right, here's another garden room. There's two chairs, that's the base. This is still a garden room. You have to look at your garden as little separate rooms. What do you wanna use it as? So this is just a sitting area. Um, I have a bird feeder where my hummingbirds come and drink their nectar. And I also have a peach tree that also lends privacy from the neighbors when I'm looking out my window I'm not looking right at them I'm looking at the peach tree so that is another aspect of uh, decorating a garden space just like Ikea they have to think of what they're going to do how they're going to go about doing it and right on the side here I have some pots now these pots are filled with um, all kinds of pretty annuals and that's the pillows okay these things are only gonna last for a season in this pot uh, that means when the frost comes it's gonna kill it it's it's only an annual it's only supposed to be good for a season so that's the pillow in this room now these roses are perennials they are permanent they won't die they won't die until they get old the roses will come back every year they are a perennial so you got to look at those two things perennial and annual the perennial is the roses that's the base and the annual is the pillow it's not coming back a frost is gonna hit that and it's gonna die but those are examples of this garden room. Hopefully that makes sense.